The Story of the Baby Squirrel by Dorothy A. Itis. He ran right out of the woods to me, little and furry and panting with fright. I offered a finger just to see, and both of his paws held on to it tight. Was it dogs that had scared him, a crashing limb? I waited a while, but there wasn't a sign of his mother coming to rescue him, so then I decided he was mine. I lifted him up, and he wasn't afraid to ride along in the crook of my arm. A very fine place, he thought, just made for keeping me comfortable, safe, and warm. At home, he seemed happy to guzzle his milk out of an eyedropper six times a day. We gave him a pillow of damask silk on which he very royally lay. He frisked on the carpets, he whisked up the stairs, where he played with some soap till it made him sneeze. He loved exploring the tables and chairs, and he climbed up the curtains exactly like trees. We watched his fuzzy gray stomach swell. He grew until he could leave a dent in the pillow on which he'd slept so well. And then, oh, and then one morning he went. Perhaps a squirrel around the place adopted him. Oh, we're certain it's true. For once, a little looking down face seemed to be saying, how do you do?